Do you want to know how to go from filming your YouTube video to getting it published in less than an hour? Today, I'm going to show you my exact process on how to do this. The Parisi Pack. So one of the biggest issues that I find with a lot of people not doing YouTube or not being able to do it consistently is because of the time that it takes them to go from recording and filming a video to getting it edited and pushed out on the platform itself. Even a poll I saw recently asking YouTubers how long it takes them to produce one video, over 68% of people said it took them more than five hours. Well, what if you could cut that down to less than an hour? Today, I'm going to go over my exact process on how I use myself and a VA. Okay, so I do have a VA on how to release a video in less than an hour of my time. Now, if you don't have a VA, I highly recommend hiring one. I did when I was just at 2K in business a month, okay? And now we've hit over 20K. So check out this video if you want to know more on my story. It's really not that hard or complicated to hire a VA and it just makes Makes your world so much better. And I teach exactly how to do that inside my Parisi Pack membership. So check out this video if you want to see a sneak peek on that. So let's get dive into this subject. Let's talk about how to go from filming a video, okay, like I'm doing right now, to getting it published on the YouTube platform in less than an hour of my time. So I film this video. And if you need some video filming tips, check out this video on how to be great on camera. But so I film the video. After the video is done, let me show you what happens to it. And I'm going to walk you through this process. Okay, so here we are. You can see film to release in one hour. So now I have the video file. It's totally raw and rough with all my edits and bloopers and all the things like that. And I am going to take that and I am going to upload it to my Google Drive folder, Parisi Pack Virtual Assistant. This is the hub for me and my VA. And I'm going to go to the folder that says YouTube video needs editing. And you can see right here, there's already a video that's kind of in play, okay? But I'm going to click new and I am going to click file upload and I'm going to grab this film to release in one hour and open that and I'm going to plug this in here. So it's going to upload here in a second. After it gets uploaded, okay, you're going to see if I pop over to Asana, another tool that I use with my virtual assistant, you're going to see that it says for her Tuesday tasks, rough draft, edit and outline YouTube video. Okay, if I click on this, okay, and I could type in here, okay, film to release in less than one hour. Okay, she knows she's gonna be doing a rough draft edit of this video, and she's also gonna write an outline after the fact. Now the outline is going to go over B-roll, okay? All the different inserts and the stuff that gets put into it. So you can see here we have a folder called YouTube Video Outlines. So I click on it, okay? And you can see there's different outlines in here, okay? Just simple Google Docs. So if I pop one open, this is one that I haven't edited yet. So she does a rough draft edit and then she is going to write where she thinks she needs to insert different things. Okay. It could be inserting like a Bitmoji because I love using Bitmojis. Check out this video on how I use Bitmojis in my business. It could be inserting a YouTube video. Okay. Because I'm putting up these thumbnails all the time. If you want to know more about how to get started on YouTube, check out this video. Um, it also could be, so here she, it says like insert first live screenshot, ask Steph. So here I know that she's like, okay, Steph, I need you to provide this image. Like, I don't know where to find it or that type of thing. Okay. So what I go through and do, and you can see I've done, these are finished ones is I come in here and I go in and I highlight anything in the outline that I've changed. Okay, so sometimes I change a lot and then you're going to see sometimes I just maybe edit one or two words. Okay, so it may not be a lot. And then she knows. Okay, so this takes me about uh, five or 10 minutes to usually go through the outline and make my changes. Okay, so then it's ready. So what happens next in the process? is you're going to see on our task list, so she can pop into Asana each day, she's going to see the next day it says Canva inserts YouTube video. So she knows that she's going to be making Canva inserts on, let's type this in, film to release 
in less than one hour. Okay, so she's going to make all the inserts and the B-roll and all the stuff. It may not all be on Canva, it may be some videos she's getting from different places. She's gonna do that the next day, okay? But keep in mind, between this process, I once I finished filming the video, all I did, again, was upload it to Google Drive. Then she takes it, she does the rough edit, she writes the outline, then I pop into the outline. I make a few quick edits to it. It usually, I don't even have to watch the rough draft edit, okay? Usually it takes me um, five to 10 minutes, if that, to make the changes to the outline. And then she is going to take that video, add all the B-roll, make all the Canva slides, okay? And then she's going to have a completed video, okay? So then I can pop in here, okay? And when there's a video that's completed, okay, all she's gonna do is take it and move the video that she's edited into completed videos. So say this video has been edited, she's added the B-roll. Now I come in and I watch this video, okay? Which takes me about, you know, eight to 15 minutes, depending on the length of the video that we're recording, right? And I watch it and then I just add edits to it, okay? So the next day, okay, so you can see this is kind of spread out over days. It's just that it's only taking me you know, 15 minutes a day, which is great. The next day, if there's no edits that need to be made, if she's done a great job, the first draft with the B-roll is awesome. I'll say, hey, okay, now take that video, upload it to YouTube, add the chapters, the end screen, the cards, all the different little things that are popping up, the description gets written, all that she is doing. And we've created SOPs on how to do all of those things. Again, I train all of this on how to use your VA and set up these SOPs in my Parisi Pack membership. Really got to work smarter than harder here. And so then she takes it and she uploads it and she schedules it out. And so that's where you can see here, for example, on YouTube, if I go to my YouTube studio, you're going to see that there's these different videos scheduled out. So today is the 14th of August and I have videos right now scheduled out through September 24th and I have videos that are in the process, okay? So the key thing that I just wanna cover here for you is that you can get a video filmed and published in less than spending an hour of your time. So let's go through the steps. I film the video, I upload it to Google Drive. I put an Asana task saying, hey, you need to do a rough draft and edit of this video. She does the rough draft and edit. She writes up an outline with the B-roll that she believes that she should insert, okay? All of that goes into our Google Drive folder. Next, I open up that Google Drive folder. I check out the outline. I add any edits to it, okay? This only takes me a couple minutes. Then she sees that I've made the edits because in her next task, in Asana, the next day, it's going to say, hey, you need to insert the B-roll. So then she inserts the B-roll, okay? And the video gets moved to completed videos in our Google Drive folder. At that point, I know, hey, there's a video that I need to review. So I pop it open. I watch the video. Often I'm watching the video on my phone while I'm like laying in bed at night or something like that, keeping it super simple, right? I add any edits if there need to be edits and I pop those into an Asana task. But typically she does a great job. So then I just add to Asana, hey, this video needs to get scheduled out on YouTube, add all the different things into it and we're good to go. So that is how I can go from filming a YouTube video like this to releasing it and have it published on YouTube in less than an hour. And it is saving me so much time. If you found this video helpful, go to stephanieparisi.com and click on create stories that sell. That is my free private Facebook group where every single day I'm giving business owners like you helpful tips on how to win on social media and also just to grow and scale your business. I'm big on leverage, quick tips, social media hacks. Before you pop off my channel, check out either of these two videos that are popping up to help you out. They're here to help you win in your business. And I'll be back next week with another new video.